Hi, my name is Belen Johnson. I'm a school presenter for Texas Farm Bureau. And my family and I also have a ranch in a small community called Happy Texas. Happy is a very rural community deeply rooted in agriculture. Many of the families here, uh, livelihoods depend on farming and ranching. In fact, our family is a third generation family on my husband's side to raise cattle on the land that you see here. So we have a very, um, very fierce admiration for agriculture because this is what we do day in and day out. And we thought it would be kind of fun to talk about agriculture and ranching and, and talk about the history. There's such a deep history in Texas for agriculture and ranching and um, it's all been so much improved over the years because of the technology and innovation that many people have dedicated themselves to raising a better product. So there's, that also makes for a really wonderful economic status for the agricultural industry in the state of Texas. So given all of that, we thought it would be kind of fun to, to take agriculture and ranching and see how it fits with social studies. So we're going to do that a little bit different. We're going to be out of the classroom today on a, on a little bit of a field trip. So come along, let's go see what we can find. So first I'd like to take a look at agriculture in the state of Texas. Look at the shape of Texas. How cool is it that Texas has such a unique shape? The state of Texas is identified based upon its shape to almost anyone in the world. But it is very unique. Let's talk about the geography here for just a minute. So over here along the coast, this is the Gulf of Mexico. All right, so we have the Gulf of Mexico, salty water, right? Salty water. And then we have the country of Mexico right here off the tip. And there's a large river here that flows through here called the Rio Grande that separates that border. Up here we have New Mexico and then Oklahoma are two other states, another state we border. And between Oklahoma and Texas is another river called the Red River. So there, is many, there are many things that really discern Texas to its uniqueness as well. Now the regions are split up by their geography as well as a little bit by climate. So let's take a look at those. So the blue region is called the coastal region because it is the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Now this uh, region actually has the um, hottest summers, has the hottest summers and it also has the most rainfall. So the the heat and the rain help to have, help agriculture to have the longer longest growing seasons. It has extremely fertile soil as well. And the number one thing that they produce in that region is cattle. Now there's some interesting things that are also produced here as well. Citrus is also produced in this region. Now citrus doesn't really like to have cold spills, so it's a good place for um, citrus growers to farm because this this area hardly ever gets below freezing. We also have a lot of vegetable growers as well as some corn and really a lot of timber grows in this area as well. That's the, that's the um, crop that we would consider for paper and building supplies. Now moving on to the green region or the north central plains, we, um, we move over to see a little bit more prairie in this region. There are also lots of trees and forests, but to the east there becomes more prairie in this region. This region has the hottest summers. Um, and then there's also a lot of population in these urban areas right here along the I-35 corridor. Austin, which is our Texas capital, is also in this region. If we look at the Great Plains region, that's where I'm from, up here in the Texas Panhandle. Here's my county right here where that cow head is. As you, as you look at the map, see if you can locate your county as well. But this is the Great Plains region. Now the Great Plains region has a lot of rolling plains. We also have some interesting geography um, in this region as well called the Caprock Canyon that flows through the, the top part of that. Um, we have very little rain during the winter time and we also have the coldest winters of the whole state. We have cattle in this area. We grow a lot of cotton as well. We have dairy cows. We have a lot of dairy farms up in this area. We're very thankful to them so that we can have all of the milk and ice cream and butter that we get from our wonderful dairy farmers. We also have sheep down here in this area where there may be a little more mesquite and a little more scrub brush. They're really good at grazing that area and, um, and helping us to produce another great protein product besides cattle. If we move over to the mountain and basin area, did you know that Texas has mountains? This, interest, this area is really interesting because there's mountains and deserts in this region. They have really rocky soil. 
So they can't grow a whole lot of things um, around the mountain area, so they might choose to graze cattle instead. Now down in the basins, they're able to grow some very fertile crops, such as cotton, pecans, and vegetables. There's also so, some hay that gets grown down in this area. So these are your regions of Texas, and there's a lot of agriculture, some of it very different across the state. But what agriculture item do you see in each region? I'll give you a hint. Cattle. Cattle are grown in each region. Why do you think cattle are raised in every region? Well, let me ask you this. What do cattle eat? What do you think grows in each region that might, cattle might need to have to eat? That's right, it's grass. Maybe different varieties of grass depending on the climate, but cattle eat grass regardless of what variety it is. And because of their digestive capabilities, cattle have four stomachs. Because of that, cattle can upcycle or recycle that grass because we can't eat it, so they recycle it into a great product that we can have um, on, our, on our tables at night for, for dinner. And that's why it's raised in every region. And that's why cattle are actually the number one economic agricultural commodity in the state. They produce the most re revenue of all the agricultural commodities in our state.